thought I was going to make it to the age of 60 before I had a facelift. I kind of mentally told myself, okay, at 60 I'll reward myself. But I'm only 54 and I got to the point where I just felt like I couldn't take it any longer. I had to do something. I noticed that my neck looked creepy and saggy and my jawline was droopy and square and my chin was square and I wanted a more oval appearance. I just felt like everything was saggy and creepy. I felt like the cowardly lion with big jowls and that's what I hated and that was the point that I knew I had to do something. Julie came to our office and with some complaints. She recently noticed herself on camera. She noticed after a newscast recently, she was complaining about some of the problems she's beginning to see in along her neck, her jowl area, and her jawline. She's also complaining a little bit of her cheek fold here, what we call the melolabial fold. So Julie is our typical patient. She's 54 years old. She's starting to see some changes and there is an indication, there's a reason that she wants this done. So what we've offered her is a, a treatment we call it the advanced lift and the advanced lift is a lower facelifting procedure. Uh, it's about a 45 minute treatment performed under local anesthesia. We use smaller incisions and, um, and we can address the lower two-thirds of the face, jowl, jawline, and neck area. Probably the biggest fear was doing surgery without being under anesthesia because I wasn't sure what to expect and I'm pretty much a chicken. So I didn't want to be awake and know what was actually happening to me. The other fear was recovery. You know, when can I find time to do this with my busy schedule? Am I going to have to hide out of my house? Uh, talking to Dr. Mendelssohn and his staff, um, when I went in for the consult, I said, you need to make me loopy, I need to be drugged up, I do not want to know what's going on. Um, he assured me that I would feel nothing, that they would give me a very good cocktail. He just, you know, allayed all my fears, calmed me. He even called me the night before my surgery because I was such a wreck and I didn't think I was going to be able to sleep to see how I was doing and make sure I was okay with everything. So he was the key. I mean, talking and, you know, reading reviews from other patients, talking to other patients was great, but actually talking to him firsthand totally comforted me.